In this week's how to, I'm gonna show you how we take this rusty old carbon steel grill and return it to its former glory. Now, we've all done it. We've all probably got a bit of uh, cast iron, a bit of carbon steel um, in the garden that they haven't seasoned before it's gone away. It's been away for a few months. Um, and you come back and it looks something like this, uh, whether it be a cast iron skillet, Dutch oven, uh, I'm gonna show you on this carbon steel grill, but the same principle applies. Um, we wanna basically strip back, wash off this rust, um, strip it back um, as smooth as possible. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some oil on here, we're gonna get it in the oven, we're gonna re-season it. We're gonna do that a couple of times and it should give you a surface almost as good as what you had when it was new. So the first thing we're going to do is just take some hot soapy water and a scouring pad and we're just going to wash off as much as we can with the scouring side of the pad. Um, so just take your scouring pad, just give it a quick once over. This isn't going to get all of the rust off, but it's going to give us a little head start. Next, we're going to take some of this steel wool um, and this is going to do most of the work at removing that rust. Um, you might want to use some gloves while you're doing this. So we're just going to cut a bit of this off and again, we're going to use it like we did with the scouring pad, just to brush up and down on that grill grate until that rust comes off and we start getting it back to somewhere that we can work with again, that we can re-season and we can get it back to its former glory. So we're going to take some of this off. We're just going to keep it in the hot soapy water, um, but instead of the scouring pad, we're going to be using the steel wool. And you'll start to see after just a, a minute or two um, that a lot of that rust is just coming away um, and we're starting to get back to seeing the metal again. So we're just going to keep at this um, on both sides. When you use your steel wool, just get it, just push it down like that and then you'll find that it will find its way naturally into the gaps. Um, so we're also doing these little side bits of the bars inside as well. So we're just going to go at that on both sides. So this has now been cleaned and it's ready to season. Um, so seasoning is pretty simple. We're just going to put a coat of oil on this, pop it in the oven, 250 degrees. We're going to leave it there for about half an hour, 45 minutes. And then we're just going to turn the oven off and let it cool inside the oven while the oven cools. And then once it's cool, we're going to apply another coat of oil, do exactly the same again, heat the oven up, 250, another coat of oil, pop it in, exactly the same again, 30 to 45 minutes, turn the oven off. That should give it two coats of seasoning, which I'm happy with. Um, I mean, you can go nuts, you can clean this more than I have done. Um, I've done this in, you know, 10 minutes just to kind of give you an idea of how to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and just get some oil on there. And you don't need a lot when you're seasoning. Um, so I'm just gonna put some on this cloth. Um, we we'll do this a couple of times, but you want it really thin. You want a really thin coating of oil on there. You don't want any kind of, anything that looks like it might drip um, because it's just gonna go tacky. So, like I said, we've just got a tiny bit on our finger here and I'm just gonna just go over the surface with my finger. You can see it is a very light coat. We're just gonna use our finger to get inside those gaps as well. So that's it. We've coated it with our first layer of seasoning. This is going in the oven now for 45 minutes and then we're gonna let it cool and then we're gonna come back and do the same again and I'll show you the end result. So this is our end result. Um, we've put two layers of seasoning on here where we've oiled it, put it in the oven, allowed it to cool and then put another layer on back in the oven and allowed it to cool. And all I've been doing now is just going over it again with one final coat of oil. This is cooled again now, so one final coat of oil and then we can just put this away and it's gonna protect it against rust so it doesn't get into a state that it was earlier. Um, or you can just stick this on your grill now, heat it up and it's ready to cook. So like I said, just a thin coat of oil just to protect it or get it ready for the next cook and that's it, job done. So there really is no excuse. Get out there, get those barbecues lit and get cooking. That was my how-to this week. I'll see you again next week.